I was travelling for about two and a half years prior to arriving in Australia. I left the UK when I was uh, in my early 20s. I ended up in Borneo opening a daycare for people with learning disabilities. When that came to an end, I wasn't sure what was next. I loved diving, I loved the water and I loved the sun. So the next logical jump for me was over to Australia. I was very fortunate to go and work with who is now the number one real estate agent in Queensland and I started a, a two-year cadetship with him which taught me everything I needed to know about the ins and outs of the industry. I spent a number of years working at probably one of the largest real estate agencies within Melbourne before I then made my decision to move Bayside and I've worked in the Bayside area for the last uh, four years and that for me has been the, the light on moment. Marty and I had spoken a number of times over a number of years from when I worked both in the Stonington market through to the Bayside. It was always a conversation about when and what next. It took a while for me to make that decision, knowing that when I made the jump, it needed to be the right time. The culture at White Fox is something that can't be found anywhere else. From the moment you join the team, you join the WhatsApp, you're congratulated on every move that you make. People are constantly celebrating every win, and that's so rare to see in this industry. We're fortunate now with the group of guys and girls that we have there that we really are impacting quite significantly in the market. We've grown very quickly, and the listings that we're now bringing into the White Fox team is really exciting. My beautiful wife Sam, who's originally from New Zealand. I've got my son, who is 18 months old, Darcy. We've got a fresh three-week-old baby, little baby Stevie, who's just joined us, who is keeping me up, but certainly uh, making our life a happier place. Balancing the family and, and real estate can be challenging, but I find that the more that you bring the two together, the easier the process becomes. With COVID, I've been a part of my family for four and a half years. I was very fortunate that my parents arrived two weeks ago for the first time, which was an amazing thing to, to see them with my kids. I love playing music, I play drums, I play guitar, and I just love listening to music. It's probably something that drives me outside of work. My wife and I, we've got a really good network of, uh, of friends here, all with similar age babies. I'm very fortunate I'm from, uh, from the south of the UK, from a small island called the Isle of Wight, and uh, they don't talk like this where I'm from. I grew up around farmers and, and sheep and cows. I managed to have picked up a Queen's English accent, which seems to be uh, pretty well received by, uh, by my vendors.